The first method to fix this problem is to hard shut down your laptop or computer. For hard shut down of your laptop or PC, just press the power button and keep it pressed for five to six seconds until it fully shut down. Now, remove the battery, okay, remove the battery of the laptop, from the laptop. Wait for a minute, okay, wait for one or two minutes. After that, again, insert the battery connect the power button again and then start the laptop and your problem will get fixed. Now if the problem do not get fixed, let's move to the method 2 and that is just search device manager in the Windows 10 search box, click on device manager to open device manager. Now expand network adapters, okay, expand, double click on network adapter to expand it. Now, just uh, in my case, it's Qualcomm. In your case, it will be Intel. Just right click on it and click on Disable Device. Okay. And once it gets disabled, right click again and click on it to enable it. Okay. Now it has been disabled. Now click on it and click on Enable to enable it again. Okay. And try again and your problem will fix. If this is not fixed, let's try again with method three, and that is just right click on it and click on uninstall device, okay? Once you have uninstalled the device, now connect your computer directly with a ethernet cable, okay? Just connect the ethernet cable with the router and one part to your PC or laptop, and now, when you have connected, uh, when you are connected via a wire, what you have to do is to click on action and click on scan for hardware changes, okay? And it will get reinstalled and it fixes the problem. If this also does not work, there is one more thing. And if you do not have any Ethernet cable, you can simply right click on your Intel, you know, adapter and click on uninstall device and restart uh, your computer again and see if your problem is getting fixed or not. That's it guys, please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the Geek